Good evening, friendos. It's time for Quest for Semi Glory. We're back here with Return of the Oberdin to try to figure out what happened to 36 more people. 36 more folks we gotta figure out uh, how they died or where they disappeared to or if they're still alive or something like that. So let's let's go to it. Let's get to it. Um, last time we figured out nine more. And uh, then we kind of spun our wheels for a bit, trying to figure out if we could brute force any more. Um, actually, actually, we're, we're going to start here. See if we've got enough. Do we have enough kind of lined up where we could brute force maybe one more? Uh, let's see. Do we have any we could work off of here? Uh, no. <laughs> In fact, there are none. Uh, great. Cool. Awesome. Uh, Alright, well, that being the case then, let's take a quick page through our little notebook here and see if we can at least, you know, ID some names to go after. Uh, chapter 1 and Chapter 2 are all fully complete. That's nice. Uh, chapter 3, I think we're missing maybe one? Yeah, because we got a uh, dude and then dude and then this. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. All right. Let's uh, let's see. On the main deck, shot by a gun. Whatever. Okay. Um. So we're pretty much right here. Yeah. Uh. Is this is this the one we're looking at? No. That's that's our. That's our, our good friend Lars. He uh, ate it for no good reason. Um, let's see if we can find where that one was, though. Was it this one? No. Uh, was it this one? No. Uh, was it... Nope, that's not the one. That was... Um, Pasqua, right? Yeah, Nunzio. No. Um, now comes the kind of the harder part of finding out where these memories start. <laughs> it's set on the main deck. Oh wait, I think it was up near here, yeah? At least that's where the dude got shot, right? But how do we get to that particular memory? Hey Omega, how you doing? You should get easier now that you've locked in a bunch of people. Yeah, I would hope so, right? Like, the, I'm most worried about some of the the lower tier crewmen, though. Because there's not, like, a whole lot going for them. We were able to identify a lot of the officers based on their on their fancy hats and shit. But all the other crewmen are just kind of like, you know, generic-ass looking mofos. So it's it's hard to tell sometimes. Um, what the hell is this? Where, where did this happen? It happened on the main deck, right? Oh, the corpse was moved. Oh, and I think we have to, do we have to go in the cabin? That'd be weird. All right, well, let's see. There's what, this one here? This one here? No. Not that one there, obviously. That one, not that one. There's nothing around there. I mean, yeah, not all of us can afford fancy hats, right? Yeah, you're, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Um, how the heck do we even get to this one? Oh, it's literally this guy here, huh? Oh no, that was escape. What the hell? Why did it do its no 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 no? Oh, Let them go. Let them go. Do we know who this fucker is that took a round in the chest? I don't think so. Kaboom. I mean we've got a one in two chance of figuring out who that is, right? And we know this was Paul Moss, right? Yeah. That one get locked in yet? That one didn't get locked in yet. Interesting. Okay. So we've got one we could brute force off of maybe a little bit later. Do you know who this fucker is? No. 
cap. Here. No, no, this is much later than where we want it to be. So, okay, we entered the entire wrong one. That's all right. So I kind of figured, here's Paul Moss. Poor Paul Moss got stabbed. Well, got sorted by the other dude who ate shit. But then, how do I get to the one I was looking for? So this is the, this is the main deck that was up around here. They were trying to shove off. And then he got shot by something over here, right? Dude got shot. We go based on who he's hanging out with here. He's probably another topman. But I have no idea. No idea what to do otherwise with him. Saying what? His corpse has moved after the fact, yeah? Oh, down to the Orlop deck. Okay, so that's where I need to go to get access to this particular one, I think. Well, actually, hold on a second. Where was it? Uh -huh. Here. Oh, gun deck. Oh, on the gun deck outside, I guess? So down below decks, right? And then in the first mate's cabin. Okay. Reading maps is hard. In here, right? Yeah. Okay, so he was shot by Nichols. Fucking ding dong nickels. Doing doing the bad things before he even gets off the ship. So he was shot by nickels. No idea who he is. But at least we got one piece of info there. About this guy. Did this guy shove off with Nichols too? I think so. He took a spear in the chest. Which is rad. Deserved it. Oh, I see. Here's the other other boat they were commandeering, right? going to be anything else we can pull from this here. So everybody else was just kind of hanging out below decks or something. Uh, did he... What happened to this guy? Did he die? What was his deal? 
He, oh, right. He got exploded. He got exploded later. Good for him. This is Lars. I don't know why Lars is acting all... All weird here. <sighs> yeah, what is this dude's deal? Like, there's... There's not much we can go on here. We might have to leave this for later. Alright. Okay, let us uh, proceed then and see if we can get any more... Like, names. Any more names. Because the other one we had was O'Hagan, right? Is in Chapter 4 here somewhere. O'Hagan we could never ID, though. Because, like, well, who the fuck is he... Is whoever this other dude is talking to? <laughs> Oy. Yeah, okay, can you still breathing? Can you row? We couldn't fucking... Yeah, it's whoever ate it here that said that. But then it's like, well, fucking... <laughs> Who the hell is O'Hagan? And is he alive enough to still be breathing and or rowing? Then finally, Nichols eats shit as he deserves. And then these two kind of shoved off somewhere else. He took okay, so the dude I think is this dude, right? Oh, and the dude behind him too, right? The double kill. So the hero who shot Nichols took a, a spike in the chest and then it went through and hit this guy too, which I have no idea who this guy is. No names, no nothing. And he was, you know, he's looking to do some cooking, he took the shell and he got thwacked in the face. Way to go, idiot. And then this dude was carrying something down, he <laughs> took a neck on the, uh, landed his neck on the barrel and or took it from behind. Not much to go on there. Okay, we do have a name mentioned here. And a mention of an occupation. John. John, John, John. Uh, do we have a John? John Naples. A seaman. Do we have any more Johns <laughs> on here? Would seem a, a fairly common name back in 17 whatever, right? I guess not. There's only one John, but I don't know if, if this is if he's talking about John here. Okay, and whoever steward this is was the one being carried off to be thrown in the lazarette. Okay. 
Might have to go back and visit that one to see who the heck is talking and to whom. But alright, alright, so we've got a lead. We've got a lead on part four. Not much going on there. Must have been a topman if he was up working on the rigging, right? Bad place to be in a in a lightning storm, though. And supposedly this one is easy to divine with one one little triangle. I very much doubt that, but we'll come back to it, I guess. Okay, Marcus Gibbs, unfortunately, yeah. Ah, right, these were the two that were, oof. Terrible way to go. Charles burned, yeah. Uh, you got spiked, yeah, okay. Shot by a, with a gun by an unknown attacker? I don't remember this one. Oh, was this the dude that got shot through the wall? Yeah, yeah it is. Yeah, yeah, he made it all the way around. He thought he was safe, but that wall could not contain the bullet. There we go. There we go. Hey, Lord Trax, how you doing? Good to see you. Uh, this is Return of the Obra Dinn. We are trying to figure out what happened to 60 people on the ship by going back through select memories and reviewing the info we've got and, and making d deductions and stuff. We've done 24. We need 36 yet. And it's getting, it's getting down to the point where we don't really have a whole lot of information to work off of, so we're gonna puzzle this out as best we can. We're just reviewing what we have here. We're trying to find some names. Names and or occupations to help us out here. This is not going extremely well. Yeah, Lars Linde got clubbed in the face. Bad way to go. Ooh, yeah, Edward Spratt got choked out. Bad way to go. Ooh, this guy got hit by a loose cannon. Bad way to go. <laughs> there aren't very many good ways to go here, are there? This dude lost his entire face. Probably his head from a cannon blast. Uh, another loose cannon. Crushing, crushing down here. This is only a, a, a two triangle deduction. That should be easier later on, I guess. Mm, I don't know who the heck that is. This dude we couldn't divine out before. Oh man, really bad way to go. This one we got pretty early on. I think we used, yeah, we used this to identify Martin. He was one of the, uh, the second mate, I think. Second or third mate? We got him taken care of last time, I think. And then all these fuckers just kind of disappeared somewhere. Never to be seen again. Although Finley was drowned. Presumably drowned. Hmm, okay. Not a whole lot to do with that one. Those are empty until we do something else. Oh, wait, 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 hold on a second. Is this... Okay, that's part of Chapter 8, so we can't get to that one, presumably, yet. Okay. What about Chapter 9? Yeah, alright, and this is the Austrian being like, Oh man, where's my, where's my Frenchman? This one I could never figure out. Like, did we ever... Identify who his mate was? Because we were trying to look at all the folks that were torn apart and be like, oh, hey, it's this dude was torn apart. He must have been this dude's mate. I guess we never got around to that at the end of the last time. All right, so that's a probably a good place to start, too. Paul ate it trying to get some people off the boat. Good for him. Uh, Alright, he took it in the chest by... Uh, 
by one of the passengers, one of the ladies, got a real solid strike center mass. Uh, either Emily Jackson or Miss Jane Bird punched his ticket. We don't have enough to really figure out which one it was, though. Okay, right, and this is kind of the mutant, well, it's the post-disaster mutiny, I guess? This one might be good to start with, too, because there's a lot of info surrounding this one. And then we finally fucking ID'd Henry Brennan, the piece of shit. <laughs> Got Henry Brennan taken care of, at the very least. I don't know what the heck happened to him. I No, well, he got stabbed, right? He got stabbed in the back. So he was... Uh, stabbed... Or knifed. Knifed, I guess? Knifed. Um, by someone we don't know about yet. So that's some info. Pete's mother, I tried my best to pull him back to save him. Alright, so we've got a name. Pete. Pete, Pete, Pete. Oops. Let's see what we can do with that. Who Who's a Pete? Who is a Pete that we can uh, kind of springboard off of here? Peter Milroy? Yeah, that's the only Pete we got here. I think that the other ones are last name Peters, but we already kind of identified those two. Uh, so the other only Pete would be Peter Milroy, huh? Hmm. Let's see if we can do anything about that later, I guess. Wait, who was Charlie? Was Charlie a midshipman? Were they all just kind of hanging out together and, you know, doing what you do on a ship by uh, slaughtering cows, right? Charles, Charles, Charles. Yeah, he, Charles was a, was a midshipman, wasn't he? So maybe they were just all hanging out, watching the butcher do his thing. Kind of twisted, but there you have it. Hmm. Where's the dude we just... ID'd is stabbed, or is knifed, rather. Here. Yeah, I guess that makes sense, right? The three midshipmen kind of hanging out there. And if that's the case, then, well, maybe that's not right. Maybe I misidentified these. <sighs> I don't know. We'll think about it. We'll come back to that. I think this is the dude. Yeah, this is the dude that got spiked into the wall. Yeesh. That dude took it through the wall. No idea who that guy is. And then this is either it's one of the other shipmen or midshipmen, we think, right? So that's either Peter, Peter, Tom. I don't know. I feel like he might have been hanging out outside this room, listening in, 
And then he took a knife in the back when he tried to run. That might be it. Although, no. If he's still... He's still in the picture here. Wait, this is when they were first talking about it. And then something uh, something was going on top side. And, alright, he took it in the chest, yeah. And then here we go. Here's here's back below Dex, right? And they're like, blah, 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 can't, can't, can't be trusted, blah, blah, blah. And then Brandon comes in swinging. Here, alright, here's where he took the knife to the back. Or no, he took the knife to the back like two parts before. And then he crawled into that room. And then he finally let go, I guess. Hmm. Okay. That's that's a good good place to start too. And I have no idea what like what the ordering on those two is. And then I think we nailed down the end, didn't we? Oh, except for this dude. No idea who this fucker is. Tried to get the best of old Cap here, and he took a broomstick to the face instead. Way to go. Alright, well... Well, let's see here. Let's start with, uh... Because we're not going to get anywhere with this one. Let's start with, um... The dude moaning about Pete or whatever. That was down below decks, right? In the, uh... Post-apocalypse mutiny. Is that down one more, or was it over? Oh, because here's the cargo. We're not... No, it wasn't down in the cargo hold, was it? Where was it? It was near the officer's mess, I think. Here. It was over here. Okay, so yeah, I need to be on sub deck one. I think I'm on the opposite side of the ship. Yeah, here we go. This is where all the fun happened. Alright, so Alfred got his arm torn off. Other dude was kind of listening in over here, and he's like, Ah, oh, fuck, mutiny, mutiny, blah, blah, blah. He's like, ah, oh, you fresh bastard. He gets his face clubbed in. This dude got his face clubbed in. This dude got his face blown off. I think it was this guy right here, yeah. Mm, no, that's, that's the dude that got clubbed. Uh, other one was over in... Here? No, in one of the midshipman cabins, I think. This one? No. This one? Yeah, there we go. Oh no! You're cut! Don't leave me. Bear up, son. I'll stay with you. Tell Pete's mother I, I... I tried my best. Aye. To pull him back to see. You tell her yourself. <laughs> Brennan! Bring the surgeon's kit! Yeah, and then he bled out, so, yeah. Good work, everybody. <laughs> what is it? Do we know who this guy is? Oh, this was a uh, host cut or whatever, right? Yeah. A-hole. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think we need to back up maybe a chapter or two. Or, not a chapter, a part or two of this chapter. So I think he was still, he was still crawling in this one. Yeah. Like, he went the distance in this one. And 
then this was Hoskut. He found him, right? Yeah. So it must have been even before that? Maybe even before the, the gun rearranging this dude's face? More towards the ceiling direction? Yeah, oof. <laughs> oh yeah, he was crawling already. So maybe it was this dude. Actually, now we know who off this guy. This was, um, was John Davies that shot this dude. Did the whole facial rearrangement. He's got a he's got a good side jump once he gets off this ship. Oh wait, he died, didn't he? All right, he was shot by uh, John Davies. It's possible that he did this dude in, too. But, um, can we... Hmm. Let me back up just one more part. I... Uh, I hate that we can't just go to these memories in sequence now that we've discovered them all. I hate that we have to walk around and find them. But, I guess we gotta, we gotta, right? There's Brennan, right? He's kind of on his way down. There's Huskut being like, oh, what the fuck? And there's the cap, right? Yeah. Is anybody else around here? No. Oh, well, besides this guy who's dumping a, another body overboard. Who was this one? Ah. Right. Took the one. Took the round in the chest. Before they got away. Okay, so we need to back up to like part one then. Because I think the other two parts were above decks. So how do we get to this one? I think we have to go listen to Alfred cry his eyes out about missing his arm or something. Uh, okay. Okay, so that's John Davies. It's the gunner's mate, yeah. Wait, wait, what? With the storm, Captain came up with the hole. Said he chased it off. Doesn't make much sense, cause John rearranged this dude's face. Like two parts later. That's weird. Doesn't make a whole heck of a lot of sense to me, but whatever. Is this the dude that got the knife in the back? Yeah. Yeah, so there's the dude that took the knife in the back. But from whom? From whom? I wonder if we need to... We probably need to advance one part here. Get to the stuff above decks and then come back down and see what was going on. This is all part of the same little shenanigans going on, so I think Paul ate it first, right? That'll be part two? Yeah. Last one. Move quick. Let's see. Okay, so here he is. Here he is listening in while they discuss what the fuck's going on. But what the 
hell? <laughs> that, that still doesn't kind of track with what we got going on here. Brennan and Hostcut are running up to try to help out here. Did get stabbed in the lung with a sword. Cap is trying to support here. Still don't know who the fuck this guy is. Hmm. All right, I think we need to go to part three then. Uh, can we do that directly from here, or do we have to? Yeah, we gotta pop out and back in, of course. All right, no problem. far enough to see what's going on down there. Yeah, there we go. Ah, it's good old Olius. Olus? Elias? What's his name? Olus. Stabbed this dude in the back. Unfortunate for him. And if we're gonna go with the whole midshipman thing... He was talking about Pete, right? So they're probably buds. So that's probably Thomas. Hey, there we go. Ba ba bum bam. Ba ba bum bam. Ba ba bum bam. Or ba ba bum bam. Okay. All right. Well, we're almost to half seas. Another three, and we'll be to half seas here. Although that locked in kind of the the three most uh, the the three that we were most sure of, which is not great. <laughs> I wanted to use some of those for some brute forcing, but I guess we'll just have to not do that then. All right, so. We have a name, then. We need to know... Okay, so we've already got his memories on board. We need to know where he was so we can ID who Pete was. So let's see. Um, although we're pretty sure that it was... Uh, um, where's the crew photo here. Here we go. I'm pretty sure this was Pete. Pretty sure this was Pete. Um, so let's go based on his memories then. He ate it up here. He got exploded. Tried to pull him back. Was a... Uh... Was good old Tom up here to try to pull him back? It says he was. All right, well, let's see. Um, part six, main deck. Let's see what we can do about that. I don't know how much pulling back you're going to do on a dude who got exploded, but, I mean, props for trying. This one? Nope, that's Lars. Uh, this one. Looks like an exploded corpse, right? Yep. Okay. Oh, yeah, he did try to pull him back. Is this, to is this Tom here? Yeah, it is. Yeah, that's definitely... That's definitely Pete, then. Alright. But who the hell threw the <laughs> Who threw the powder in this case? Like, who the fuck was actually the source of that explosion?
Well, either way, I think we got a pretty positive idea on that one. <laughs> That's right, the too many guns guy. <laughs> what was he thinking? Like, how... How, how did you think you were going to get up those stairs with all those guns? Considering we're at like a fucking 35 degree angle on this thing now. Gravy. Alright, well... I think we're probably done with this part here. Okay, that. That. And then dude over there is like, well, he's going to eat it. In the next part, isn't he? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Trying to carry all the groceries in one trip. Well, I mean, in your defense, though, I doubt you were dealing with, like, a 30-degree incline on a listing ship that was under attack by a, a Kraken of sorts. So you probably had much better chances. <laughs> Who else we got present here? Oh, that was, um, is that John Davies? Yeah. John Davies, Olus... Unknown dude. Uh, probably a topman based on who he's hanging out with in that photo. But alright, okay, okay. Uh, so, let's get out of here for now. Let's revisit what we know about. Uh, would have been the escape, right? Chapter nine. Your meat was torn apart. So. But we know who Alfred was. He was the, the gunner, wasn't he? Yeah. And he was talking about his mate. Uh, Lord. He was talking about his mate, which we presume was... Charles, right? Yeah, where's my Frenchman? Where's my mate? He's Frenchman. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who the fuck is Charles, though? <laughs> Who the heck's Charles? Um, well, okay, so, let's see where else Alfred was here. Let's try to walk this back. So he ate it there, beginning of chapter 9. It was too early for chapter 5, part 1. Too early for part 2. Definitely too early, early for part 3. So probably in this... Probably in chapter 6 is where we're going to start with this. So below decks... Was that the part with the squid getting a kill with a cannon, right? Okay, let's head down there. I have a feeling we'll we'll identify Charles down there somewhere. If he was the gunner's mate, right? Then he definitely would have been down there. With the guns and such. I hope. I mean he's no he's no cowardly ass Nichols, so of course he's gonna be down here trying to trying to do something. Would have been over here somewhere. So, this guy? Or no, was he the gunner? No, Alfred was already the the gunner's mate, wasn't he? Wait, who the hell is Alfred again? Oh, it was the bosun. Right. Sorry, getting bosun and, and gunner mixed up there. Bosun's mate. What the hell's a bosun? Is 
Is there a glossary? What's a what's a bosun? Foreman in charge of general crew operations and the equipment required to sail the ship. Okay. General crew ops, huh? All right. So it was probably one of these dudes that got torn apart. And we presume... Okay. Like, this is what we were trying to decide last time, right? Was, was this dude torn apart or was he drowned? And what the fuck happened to him? Because he, just, he was there in one part and then he was just gone the next. Crushed by a loose cannon, that's embarrassing. Okay, that's the carpenter. That's the cook. Is there anything else going on around here? No. Alright, that was the artist. All right, well, let's just pick one and, and try to walk it forward here. Hmm. Right, we were trying to identify what happened to that dude based on his screams. <laughs> it was kind of disgusting. Um... He was, yeah, he was the, the part before this. They were kind of struggling with the, with the cannon or whatever. Like, oh shit, the fuse is lit. It's like, oh no, get out of the way. It's like, no, I can't, man. It's too late. That's interesting. That's, uh... Okay, yeah. So he got totally bopped there. So, okay, I think this is entirely apart from the one we were actually looking for. There's Brennan trying to do something. Where was our other... Where's Alfred in all this? Wasn't he listed as being a part of this one? No, he wasn't on this one, was he? Okay. Get back up on out of here. Okay, so I think initially we were looking for folks that got torn apart, yeah? And we've got one, two, two here, right? Because we thought this was Charles before, but that's probably not right. Um, where is... Okay, hold on a second. Let's find where... Where are folks hanging out in this photo? <clears throat> uh, da, 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 where's the bosun? Was he even in this? Oh, here. Here he is. Uh, 
This one? Alright. Let's check these one by one, I guess, huh? Okay. Where did he eventually eat it? In the cargo hold? Okay. Possible. Well, I guess while we're thinking about this, let's head to here. This is part... Part four of what chapter is this? Five. Okay. Uh, cargo deck, down below decks, we can at least identify one of the mates as well. <clears throat> Based on who's talking about it. right up here, yeah? Right? Because it's kind of the, the bow section of below decks. Yeah. Oh, except we're in the oh, the bosun store. It's down here. Okay. We need to go to the opposite end of the ship. Ah, right, because where's the rest of his leg? Here's the rest of his leg. Alfred right there. Hmm. Okay, so who would this dude be then? He's one of the mates. Definitely not the bosun's mate. Is it? No. Do we know what happened to him? We don't have any idea what happened to him, do we? didn't show up anywhere, and we don't have a... Oh, interesting. He was, um... Hmm. He was out on the open sea, too, huh? But this was after... Was this after the fact, or before? So you're getting hauled away here. That's before. So he came back alive? Oh no, he must have been on deck. That was what, chapter 4? Chapter 5? 
also chapter five. Hmm. Okay. Well, don't have a lot of options for this guy. Well, where was he when he disappeared, then? Fuck. This is the last time we saw him. So I don't know that that's who that is then. Certainly not, uh, not Charles, then. Unless he was talking about, uh, Nichols. Was he talking about Nichols? No, Nichols was dead by this point. Right? Yeah, because he didn't make it back on board. Of course, I've been assuming that that's the cap saying that stuff, so maybe that's not right. <clears throat> Let's listen to that one more time. them hauling the stuff back aboard. <laughs> Where's the exit? Oh, it's over here. I wish there was some... You know, I actually kind of wonder now. If we enter in... Do we get closer to the people who are talking, are they louder? No. Wait, no. 20 years my steward? Was that steward or mate? Steward. Damn. Okay. I was looking at the wrong thing. Alright. Steward. Steward, steward. This guy here? 
If the cap was the one talking, that would have been him. I have no idea what happened to him. Doesn't even give me a, a chance to say what happened to him. <clears throat> or it could also be the ship's steward. Although, that looks more... <laughs> ah, never mind. Uh, hmm. Okay, it said 20 years my steward, so I'm guessing that's the, that's the cap steward then. Captain is actually the ship. Maybe it's the ship talking, you're right. It could be the boat. The boat is alive. It is itself and its own captain. <laughs> and this dude's just a human-shaped homunculus. <laughs> hmm. Okay, I feel reasonably confident about that one. It does sound like the cat. Let's find John. John, John, John. Who, who is John? Okay, so we've got John Davis is... Okay, the fourth mate. Is John... Dave is in here somewhere? Because there's a surgeon, right? That's the surgeon's mate, I believe. And the fuck that is. Is John Davies even around here somewhere? No. He is not. So who the fuck is he talking to? Is there another John on the manifest? I mean, John Naples, but I don't think that's right. Indeed, who John Naples was? No. Hmm. 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 Who else is around here that looks like a John? Probably not either of these three, right? No, okay, there was the artist, alright, alright. And, uh, good old Alfred. Or no, Olus. Olus. And the butcher, right? Couldn't have been talking to any of these dudes up here, I don't think. I mean, unless that is John Naples, which could be, I guess, could be him. I guess for now. Like it says, it's an easy deduction. So if if if, if this dude's name is John, that's a pretty easy deduction, right? We'll go with it for now. I 
know, as an aside, where's the rest of his leg? That makes a lot of sense, actually. Okay. All right, because originally we were looking for um, this dude's mate, right? Charles, Charles Minor? We were trying to follow his memories back to see, like, oh, when did he and Charles interact? To confirm that. I don't think we ever identified that just yet. That's where we are right now. Now is what, chapter five? Chapter six. Chapter five. Oh, more of chapter five. Part four. Part two. Part one. Part seven. He was apparently present for part seven. Oh, right. He was rushing up the stairs. No, Olus is rushing up the stairs with all those guns. Where the fuck was, uh... Okay, you know what? Let's go back above deck. Go back topside. I want to see during the firing line, where Charles was located, or where, um, Alfred was located. Because I know it didn't really show anybody next to him in the picture, but maybe there was something else. Pug Seng Lao, you have been found guilty by self-confession of the murder of Nunzio This is Alfred here. Lars is hanging out there. As captain of this ship, and by the authority of the East India Company, and thus the Crown of England, I sentence you to death Olus, by Oscar, Cap, Mr. Wolf, when you are ready. Right, sir. Nichols ready, being then. a little cowardly bitch. Only one out of four hits. <laughs> Huh, okay, well this doesn't give us any new info though. He's really the only one aiming down sights, so it's not, not a big shock that he's the only one that hits. Oh no, this guy kinda is too. But he still whiffs just a little bit outside. This guy's kinda aiming too. He whiffs to the left. Hmm. There's Olus there. It's Hoskut, I think. There's Nichols. One of the topmen. Who the heck are you? Don't know who you are. Mosins. Okay, yeah, here's Edward doing his little sketch. Do you know who he is yet? Yeah, here's the cook, right? This is the butcher, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Alright, well, that didn't get us any new info. Dude that got exploded. Where is the whole thing with the... Stuff aboard. Was it this one? Yeah. Where was Alfred when this was going on? What the hell is going on? 
What do you know about these things? About the chests? Is that Alfred here? Friends. Yes. Okay, so everybody was alive until the end of the scene. But I definitely would not qualify this as being torn apart, taking a spike in the middle of the chest. there. Like, it would have to be... Charles would have to be one of them that is identified as, like, totally dead, right? If they were saying, oh, yeah, yeah, he got torn apart or whatever, like, we would have had to have seen that to be sure about it, right? Next. Yeah, and this is the one we couldn't really figure out. I mean, unless this was the one? Does it, look, it looked like one was decap. <laughs> one got decapitated out of those two, I thought. But maybe not. Uh, whereabouts was this? Below deck. Center. I feel like one of those two got decapitated. One of them was just strangled out because it's locked in already. Was it here then? Nope, that's the one that's on fire. <laughs> it's these two here. That dude looks decapitated. <laughs> At least in that little section of it. Yeah, because then there was that snap right there. This one here? That I think got decapitated, right? Yeah, I'm going to change that up. Oops, not drowned. Probably not. 
Probably not Charles. Because if I back out one, right? Before that thing gets lit. Oh no. Uh, which one gets lit on fire? This one? One of them gets lit on fire. It's Alfred. Coming in hot with the blunderbuss. need to go back to the the part immediately after that and see their corpses a little bit because it's not very clear here or uh, I guess over here right like that head looks very much separated from the body <laughs> Doesn't it? Like, that's a solid, like, two or three inches. And that one's already locked in the strangled, so I presume this other one is the decapitation of it. Ugh. Oh, it's very... That's a very meaty snap at the end there. But it doesn't really help us since we don't know who the f this dude is. Where was Alfred in this melee? Here. He was over there. I think that really confirmed anything for us. Did I make sure to set this one as decapitated, right? as good as we're gonna get there. There's Charles getting burned. Apparently Alfred was there too. Five, sub deck one. Ah, this is the burn to death. Yeah. There he is over there. You already ID'd who this was, right? Charles, yep. Hmm. <sighs> Alright, and then he's... yeah, okay. And then he's crawling away. Apparently they're... they're either on guard for another one, or they know there's another one there. I think one of these dudes with the gun Caps uh, Crawly McGee back there, right? Yeah, we're looking for the Frenchman. We're trying to trace through um, Alfred's memories here and see if we can find Charles in this absolute cluster. This guy is. We yep, that was right. He got exploded later. The uh, poor butcher got spiked to the wall. Oof, left himself wide open. Yep, you know what happened there. Waiting for another. Okay, well, it's not going to be here, then. Okay, let me actually move on to the next one, then. Uh, where's our dude? Yeah, stick around. 
Oh, we can't get to him yet. Uh, why can't we get to him yet? Oh, we probably gotta back out and go back in. Alright, where's the doorway? What's his nuts? His brother was crushed by cargo before, right? There's Alfred right there. This is one of the that was the carpenter's mate, right? Yeah. There's nobody with a gun yet in here. So we can't ID whoever had the gun and, and shot the crawler before, right? So at this point, we're on the... Oh, yeah, right. We're on the opposite side of the ship. Because he crawled this way. So we can't follow him through, unfortunately. Alright, well... the dude that, uh... Dude that ate it through the wall. Alright, let's check on that for a bit. We don't get a real good look at anybody <laughs> through these tiny-ass slits. <laughs> Yeah, someone shoot the damn thing. It was this dude here. I can't really get a clear shot at his face. Well, might have been this dude then. Actually, that's the only dude that even looks remotely like him. And a clean shaven, built but kind of chubby. It's gotta be this guy, but I don't know who the fuck he is. Another one that was torn apart. Like, this was my initial thought on Charles, but... Uh, I can't be sure about it, though. My initial thought was Tattooed McGee being, uh, being the bosun's mate there, but that, I don't think that pans out. Uh, this guy here. He was torn apart, but probably not the right torn apart. Uh, 
how many others do we have that were torn apart that we know about? Well, we know he was torn apart, right? But we don't know who he was. Like, we can't put a cause of death without IDing who he was, right? That's kind of the only unfortunate bit about this. Nobody's hanging out around old Alfred here. Well, how are these dudes dressed, I wonder? Kind of fancy? Kind of fancy, kind of fancy. I mean, surgeon's mate dressed for the job, carpenter's mate dressed for the job, gunner's mate dressed for the job. Got most of the higher ups taken care of, but and all the Formosans. Hmm. There's too many unknowns here. I can't make any progress with this. <clears throat> well, hold on a second, let's uh, let's take another angle on this, right? Can we... Hmm. Can we get to one of the er like really early ones? and see if somebody is down in the bosun's area. Kind of ID him that way, like we did with the carpenters. That would have to be like chapter one. I think the bosun's area was down in the cargo hold, yeah. below the carpenter's area. Okay, let's try that. So it would have been either one of these two, I think. Might have been passenger equips, right? This would have been the bosun's store. Oh, interesting. Uh, we... Oh, this was a bip up Ah, right. <laughs> Come get some. Boom! Right. Oh, he got that blunderbuss from uh, Alfred, too. Yeah, I remember that. Is there anybody else around here? Okay. There's him. Definitely didn't fire until he saw the whites of their eyes. <laughs> or eye, just any eyes, really, white or not. Kaboom. I think that would count as a double kill. The spider thing and then whatever's riding it. Um, yeah, that's not what I was hoping to get out of this, though. So what is this considered, actually? Where are we? Okay, that is the bosun's store, but not where I want it to be. Right, and this is where the stowaway died, yeah? Hmm. 
Where are we at right now? Where are we standing? Okay, now we want to turn around and go this way. Can we even identify how this dude ate shit? Maybe? Get to where I need to go there. Okay, so now we're pretty much right outside the bosun's area. Anyway, right? Can't get any further. Grr. This part of it lets us see a little bit beyond. No, of course it cuts off at the same spot. Jerks. Crap. This guy's a little bit more sharply dressed. Is he the? Is Alfred somewhere around here? He isn't. He is absent from this particular thing. Do we know what happened to this guy? We don't. And we're on the opposite side of the ship in the Bosun's area anyways, yeah? Son of a bitch. Didn't get me any info at all. Uh, is there any other part of this we could use? The chap Maybe chapter 2? Could we get down to the cargo hold in chapter 2? To this very particular section of the cargo hold in chapter two. Doesn't seem like it, does it? Two decks up. Well, maybe it was one more deck down. This guy here? Yeah. Precisely nothing.
because we can't get down another deck. Do we know who any of these fuckers are? No, huh? Seven there. Can we get numbers on any of these other ones? Oh, there we go. 45, 46, 47. Okay, well. We know roughly who these three folks are. It's probably the three Russians? Yeah. Russian Topman and the two Russian seamen. <laughs> but, do we know enough about any of them to lock them in with some brute forcing here? Not that one. Not that one. This one. Shot with a gun by an unknown attacker. Hooray. See the one that ate it in the chest from the, uh... Hold on a second. Let's see if we can follow that one a little bit. Yeah, he ate it from one of the ladies. Well, shit, that doesn't really narrow it down, does it? Disappeared. Also disappeared. Were those two actually in the boats out in Chapter 4 there? Bizarre. Not nearly enough going on there. Well, I mean, I guess that being the case, maybe he's the topman? Mm, not enough to... Not enough to narrow it down, unfortunately. She had, unfortunately, ate it to illness, right? He's 54. Who's... Who's out of his bunk here? What, which bunk is empty? I mean, besides those three, for the three Russians. That one there. 53. Okay. You are number 53, sir. There we go. <laughs> Alright, well, it was kind of a little bit shaky there, but 
We'll go with it. There's half of them. Like, I feel less good about maybe the middle one of that one. <laughs> but... I guess we, we got it. Okay, that one's good. Uh, that one's obviously good, but, um, did this one get- no, we don't- Yeah, that one got locked in too. So those three are all locked in. <clears throat> three Russians are over here hanging out. Um... Yeah, like, that's the only other way I could think of to group these dudes up, was to be like, alright, well, they would probably stick in same or similar nationalities together, right, so they could communicate. Like, that would make a lot of sense. Um, but yeah, I don't know how we're gonna divine between these three there. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep the guess of this dude being the topman, just because he wasn't out on the boats in Chapter 4. And then these two disappeared in that chapter, too, so who knows. Alright, so sorry. Uh, an alternate dude we could check out. Yeah, 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 yeah. What, sh what you got in mind? Since we're not tracking down the Frenchman anytime soon, apparently. First guy I checked out when the stream started, oh boy, uh, <laughs> who was that? <laughs> um, okay, we were just kind of paging through, right? This guy? Took a round in the chest from Nichols. Okay. Uh, right, so this is... We had to go in the cabin for this one. One of the cabins for this one, I think. Right. That one. This one? He's got a little... Got a little tattoo on him. Didn't see that before. How would that... identify him otherwise? Uh huh. He was here. Okay. He's got a tattoo on his right arm. Now I need to go back to the illness chapter and see where he is in there. Is he gonna have? Is he gonna be one of them asleep with his arm hanging out his bunk or something? Which may or may not be helpful, <laughs> considering how many there are. Uh, but all right, let's let's, you know, let's give it a shot. Uh, yeah, that's right. We need to start this with um, this dude. Сагент? 
सैयद उठो कुछ पी लो All right. Arms out. Arms out, fellas. Let me see them tats. Let me see them tats. Not any of you. Would have been. Let's see which dude would have been. First of all, let's get rid of that for now. This guy, right? in here somewhere. Which arm was it? The right arm, yeah? Yeah, there he is. 37. Lucky 37. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Okay, cool. Yeah, alright. I can follow that. I can follow that, surely. Okay. All right, that one then I can be pretty assured of. Do we have any more that are very, very close that we could do? That didn't already lock in. Paul, we could probably brute force on Paul there. Uh, or, or we could brute force on the, the three Russians here, too. Mm, excuse me. Um. Because we're pretty sure John got torn apart by a, a beast there. And if we believe what they were saying earlier, then um, Charles got to well, we don't know who Charles is. Right, can't do that. Um, hmm. Yeah, I guess let's just uh, see what we can do here, huh? Oops. Uh. Well, actually, Who's the other one? The two buddies sitting together. Where's the where's the third one? <laughs> okay, so it's probably not. Oh, well, duh. It's not that dude. It's the only. It's this dude. <laughs> okay, let me clear the, clear the other ones out so I don't fucking forget here. So it's not either of these two. 
but we do know that he is an unknown something, right? It's not either of these two. It's just this guy. Missing, I'm missing something about this then. One of my other ones is apparently not correct. Because we've got what? Uh, this one we're pretty positive on. Um, isn't there another one that we were pretty positive on too? Maybe not. I thought we were positive on on John Naples down here, but maybe that's not right either. So, kind of the other. Uh, so I think Paul was killed by this guy too, right? This Russian that we're trying to identify? So we could try to brute force both of them together, but oh boy, that's like, what, eight combos? Ugh. So if I, if I kind of hang with my theory that... Um, it was the Russian Topman that did it. There we go. <laughs> okay. Good guess. <laughs> ba ba bum bum. Ba ba bum bum. Ba -ba -bum -bum. All right, well, that doesn't help with the other two Russians. But that does identify the two ladies for us, too, so... All right. I'm pretty sure I know which one it was, so let's see here. So, which one was the one that I selected was right? Emily Jackson. Uh, so she was... Not that one. I think. Actually, no. That was the right one. Yep. So I had them correctly ID'd. Um, well, the kind of problem with this is now... Like, I thought these two had escaped to uh, wherever they were at the time of that part of the chapter, right? Maybe we can still brute force that. Because it was those two, it was the two ladies and, what was it, the surgeon that got off on that boat? Still Emily Jackson. Okay, yep. Alright, so we got the right one. And then who is crouching there? Certain. And then I think the other other lady is down there. Yeah, can we get a, an ID on that, please? There we go. Yep. So with that in mind. We have no idea what happened to this guy, either. 
And we don't know who he is, so that's a little bit problematic. Um, but where were we in this chapter? Escape. We're here. So they might have escaped to the Azores, right? I did, yeah, I did try him either last time or the time before. It might not have been... I don't think I had all three of them set to that, though. So we'll, we'll see how this goes. Uh, they are alive. Azores. Maybe. Also alive on the Azores. And the surgeon made it with them somehow. Nope! <laughs> Damn it. Uh, nuts. I mean, where where else could it have been? What other areas are kind of near there? The Canary Islands? I don't think they would have gone back to Canary Islands, because that's where all the weird shit started happening, was along this section. And I don't think there was a, an entry for Madeira. So, let's see, where are we at? North, North Africa, right? Northwestern shores of Africa, the Azores. Did they make it all the way back to... to Spain? Like, they couldn't have made it that far, could they, in that little tiny-ass boat? Alright, what are our other options? Oh, just Africa. Okay, I don't know how they get to Africa from there, but all right. <laughs> Let's go with it. Hmm. Man, they must have... Uh, they put that boat through its paces and got to Africa. Nice job, everybody. Nice job. Um, would that fourth one have made it there, then? What the heck is this? We don't know who this fucker is, right? Yeah. Cause he disappeared at the same time, too. Way back in chapter five, five, six, and seven. And then he fucked off in the escape. All right. Hmm. All right. He was there when the cook ate shit. Apparently. All right. Let's see what we can do about that one. They are carrying it down below decks over on this side. this guy here. Yep. Is it this guy here? Yep, that was the guy. Who's this? 
this guy. Oh no. Pretty shell, huh? I don't see no pretty shell. Somehow got myself wedged here. <laughs> Come on, there we go. <laughs> Alright, yes, yeah, so they were kind of hanging out. Uh, not over here, like, who's this kind of storming off? Uh, right, oh. That's uh, Philippe, right? We think that's Philippe. These two here. I think these were two. These are two stewards. Yeah, maybe not, actually. Well, considering where he's standing, I think that's Martin Steward. I'm gonna go with that for now. Would have been which one was Martin? Was he the third mate? Yeah, third mate, steward. Okay. You were also a steward. You look similarly dressed. Probably between two of them, though. Second mate's and uh, fourth mate's steward, really. Because I don't think that neither of those look particularly Indian. I considered racist. Um, let's see, how are they dressed there? They just kind of got a plain ass shirt on them. Okay, these these folks are all dressed very similarly. So my guess is that this dude is also a steward. If he was out with Nichols, though, he was probably Nichols' steward. Piece of shit. Um, this guy's probably the ship's steward. And then that would leave this dude to be... Uh, fourth mate steward. And he was supposedly the one that also maybe escaped. And there we go. <laughs> ba ba bum. Ba ba bum. Ba ba bum. Ba. Okay. That probably runs dry our well of people we could have brute forced, so <laughs> let's see what else we have. What else do we have to work with? I don't know what happened to Martin, do we? We still gotta find Charles, the piece of shit. It's hiding from us. Okay, we've got one here. Find out who shot uh, Zungi here. And I think I think this is wrong. I don't think this is John. Hmm. 
Okay, can we identify what happened to this guy? Oh, that's the dude that got shot through the wall. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, we know who shot him. We just don't know who that who is. <laughs> We know it was, um, this guy. And he disappeared. It's possible that... Well... It's unlikely that they escaped alive. Extremely unlikely that they escaped alive. So maybe we can identify a few more drownings. Uh, alright. And while we're kind of down here, let's undo John's name. Because that, yeah, I think that's not right. Uh, that was down in the cargo hold. He was the dude that got his leg... Um, involuntarily separated from the rest of his body. Boy, that would be bold if we could finish this next time. I don't know, though. Like, we had a lot of information going in tonight, and we're gonna have significantly less for next time. Alright, it's definitely not John. Escapes. That dude's obviously dead. Is this the other guy? Yeah, this is the guy we were thinking about before, too. Yeah. This guy. He's the only... Really, the only only other steward. So yeah, I think we got that right. We had to, we ID'd him correctly. We just need to find out what the fuck happened to him. I do like that they took out um, they take all the locked in ones off the list entirely. That's nice. That's a that's some good design right there. Um, all right, so we took all we took John off of there. Let's go ahead and go back up top side and see if we can get any more of the, the drowners off the list. And then we'll probably hang it up for tonight pretty soon. Because we got what, 12? Did we get 12 tonight? How many did we get tonight? We started at 24. We've got at least 9. Maybe 12, that's wild. Um, Alright, we need to head top side. survey this mess. Uh, who will get us into chapter 7 here? You? I sort of. Four bars. Oh yeah. Half the dude he used to be. I don't know if this will get us to anywhere else. Besides Alfred, who we know got torn apart. And Olus got his face rearranged. And... Okay, the midshipmen we got taken care of, they had the fancy cravats. So we're probably through identifying those. Um, this is one of the Russians, I think, yeah? Yep. Uh... Oh, that's the Russian that got shot. Okay, uh, so nuts to that. Who are you? Oh, is this... That's not Nichols, is it? Oh, it's Davies. 
Alright, at least he was up there in the middle of it. He's like, yeah, fuck, get off my ship. I lost... Oh! Oh! I didn't even see those three up there. Doing their, uh, best silhouettes of the Air Jordan symbol. <laughs> Damn it, we can't, we don't have enough to ID him, though. Uh, what part is this? Part 7. Let me back up to part 6. Oh, crap. A gun deck. A gun deck. Main deck. Here we go. Yeah, so those three are definitely dead. Probably drowned. If only we could, uh... Identify them. <laughs> yeah, Space Jam was good, wasn't it? I should go back and rewatch that. Where the heck did they even come from? Hmm. Alright, we need to back up to part six somehow. Ah, that was the Explodeman. The Explodedman was part six. Which was this guy here. Alright. Yep. Oh. And there's one here, which is definitely dying. Probably drowning. Uh, where is three buddies, though? Go to been this side of the boat. Alright, well, whoever he is, he is dead. <laughs> he is almost certainly dead. Uh, I'm gonna say by a beast. Oh, was he a... Is he a Topman, maybe? Alright, hold on a second. Hmm, and it's possible the ones in part one got away. Actually, Nathan Peters, I think, got away. So then it would be whoever else was left, probably, the three who, uh, totally ate shit in part seven. All right. Uh, where's our good buddy Lars? Not you. Here our ticket into part one. Let me on. Over my dead body, you bloody day. Huh? How's that? There's no cause for trouble, boys. Get in the boat. Before I forget, you killed my brother. What? That was an accident. No probes. It wasn't his fault. I saw that thing. Nice. Oh, I should have waited so long. No, don't. Oof. Nasty way to go. All right. Who's <clears throat> saying you dislike how I think you told me to use custom customize? Uh, no, I don't think I've ever used customize. Helm, I'm not too sour on. Helm three is definitely better than Helm two. If you can get away with it. Um, yeah, I don't know what, what a better alternative would be. 
All right, so we definitely got this dude, right? Nathan Peters is out there. Uh, I don't know who either of these two are. Figured that would have been the surgeon's mate, but maybe not. No, surgeon's mate we already ID'd, right? He was over... Where the fuck was he? Yeah, we already identified James Wallace. We need to figure out, like, who... Who are the fancy fucks with the cravats here? Who who they? What did they do? Maybe the stewards? Are they the stewards? No. The stewards were the the just kind of like the button down shirt dudes. Um Who else has got a fancy cravat and were they uh did they have a role yet? The midshipmen. The midshipmen had the cravats, but we've already ID'd all the midshipmen, so maybe that's hmm. cook. They definitely weren't generic. Hmm. Well, maybe they almost kind of have to be, huh? Unless, hold on a sec. This guy looks a little fancy. This might be the moneyman, the purser. He's got a couple books within the ledgers, maybe? Where are we? Where are we and where could they have escaped to? If if anything, they probably would have escaped to the Azores now. Or the Canary oh, Canary Islands, really? I don't think they would have gone there. But alright, so let's see. If if this pans out, we might get another three yet. Oops. Why Azores? Um, I'm gonna presume this guy is alive, because they kind of got out of here before shit hit the fan. Except we're missing one more. Oh, this guy is. That's gonna. I don't know that we'll be able to brute force that one. Uh, I mean, the only other one we were pretty certain of is the dude who got his leg torn off, right? Which I'd have to identify him by face. Oh, he was one of the ones on the firing line. It was this guy. No idea who he is. Definitely not one of the Russians. It wasn't John. Yeah, I'm thinking they didn't make it to the Azures then. <laughs> Where else could they have gone? Canary Islands?
unless I'm wrong about that being the purser, which is entirely possible. He's carrying an awful lot of books. Which makes me think he's got the, the important ledgers and shit. <sighs> You're getting a piece of info about these dudes again a little bit ago. Oh boy. Well, that's entirely possible. Or entirely likely. More like. Where else could they have gone? Verde. Man, they'd really have to haul ass to get to Cape Verde. Could give it a try. I'm not 100% sure on this being the purser anyways, so let's not do that. He's almost certainly alive. They fucked off before the action started. I don't know what happened to old Marty here, huh? Where's the last time we saw Marty? The Doom? He fucked off before Chapter 9, it seems, huh? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know that we're gonna get these three tonight. Might have to leave that for the start for next time. Get ourselves a, a nice quick win to start or something. Okay, you know what? I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that for now. I'm okay with that. We got, what, 12? 15 maybe? Actually, wait, we can, we can look. Uh, 39 fates, and we started with 24, so yeah, that's a solid 15. A solid 15 taken care of tonight. We've got 21 left to go. No guarantees we'll get it done next time, but we'll be that much closer, surely. But that'll do it for tonight. Next stream will be Wednesday night, 7 p.m. CST. We'll be back here with Return of the Oberdin with the, 
the, the very big lack of information I think we have now. We just kind of lucked into a lot of different things tonight. We'll see what next time brings. And then Thursday night, 7.30 p.m. CSD, Shmup Book Club, Gaia Res for the Genesis or Parsec 47. A uh, nice freeware shmup. And we could also do Dodonpachi Daifukatsu as well. I think that one's still rolling uh, for the fourth into first quarter now. Um, and then Saturday, question mark PM CST will be grab bag. Uh, we'll figure out some. And then Sunday, next Sunday, uh, 7 p.m. CST, we're going to come back to some more Noida. Because <laughs> we're making very tiny progress there. We're getting more consistent and getting further. Um, which is good, which means we're making some very small measure of progress. But that's good. That's good and fun, because that game is good and fun. Alright, that'll do it for tonight. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you on Wednesday. Bye-bye.